think the problem we have is a lot of people actually do not understand the meaning of the word equal. So men think it's about who gets the biggest portion of the meat in the pot. Hello, hello guys and welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Soma. And to all of you that keep coming back, hello and welcome back. Just a quick reminder, if you haven't subscribed, just press that red button there that says subscribe. After that, press the bell sign. That way you get notification whenever I upload a new video. So in today's video, before I start, I'm just going to say, if you're one of those men, that think that a woman belongs in the kitchen and you get offended when somebody comes out and tell you that a woman belongs to more places you may find this video offensive so you may want to go watch something else if you want to watch that's okay you can watch but if you don't want to watch and you don't want to hear about me it says you know something contrary to what you believe or you're a woman that has been brainwashed to believe that you're nothing and you don't want to hear me say something else you may want to go watch something else so my video basically is going to be telling you about the fact the fact that men and women are different but we are equal. Today, why am I making this video? I'm making this video because on my private Facebook page, I share things on Facebook and I try to like, and have conversations and stuff like that going. And you always find a lot of men, not all, a lot of men that find it hard to accept that a woman is equal to them. You know what's actually sad is that the women that actually agree and say, yeah, we are not equal. The man is, I don't know, the man is something else and we are just nothing. You know, I, that's just what breaks your heart. The, but the fact is, a lot of women are brainwashed. They live this life all their lives, and that's all they've heard. And that's all, what they've grown up to accept, that we are less than men. Now, before I go on, I'm just going to explain this to you guys. I think that the problem is sometimes actually understanding of the meaning equal. So men think it's about who gets the biggest portion of the meat in the pot. Or they think about who is older. You know, they, because when you hear the argument, that's what you get from the argument. They think it's about who is older, you know, who should lead. They get it all mixed up. I see most of the time it's actually lack of understanding of the meaning equal. So today I'm going to start off by saying, what is it to be equal? You know, some people have said, are you a feminist? I, I, I've said it before and I'll say it again. It depends on your definition of feminism. Feminism. If you're going to come and tell me feminism is about women have the right to walk on the street with their shirts off because men are doing it, then I'm going to tell you I'm not a feminist. But if you tell me that feminism is about the fact that a woman has the right to get equal pay with a man if they do the same job, I'm going to say yes. If you tell me that feminism is about the fact that no woman came on this earth as an escort for a man, and then I'm going to tell you, yes, I'm a feminist. For me, it depends on your definition of feminism. What is equality? A lot of people do not even know what equality means. So women do not even know what equality means. But we have equal right to vote. We have equal right to have a job. We have equal right to education. That means if you have a boy or a girl child, you should not say only the boys should go to schools and the girls should go into the kitchen. That is what equality is. If a house is on fire, everybody has a right to get out of the fire. We all have equal right to be happy. You are a man, I'm a woman. At the end of the day, what are we? We are humans. We are different. Yeah, we're, biologically we're different. Men are built differently from women. We are privileged to be the ones to bring humans into the world. The men do not get to be pregnant. That is a difference. The men typically are built stronger strength than women. That is the difference. Women breastfeed. That is the difference. Men cannot breastfeed. That is a difference. But these differences are there for a reason. We all complement each other. It's like the right hand saying, well, I am stronger. If you're right-handed, you're going to say, my right hand is stronger. My right hand is more creative. My, heart, my right hand does more. But the left hand can say, I do stuff too. You know what I mean? I do stuff too. When you try to lift that, I joined you in lifting it up. You know, when you need to wash your right hand, you wash your left and your right together. And it, you wash them together. Yes, a lot of construction sites, you find men there. And then you go to like maybe nursing jobs. Typically, you find more women there. But at the end of the day, we need this and we need that. We need nurses, we need construction workers. At the end of the day, we all complement each other. We are different. But our difference is not to make us unequal. In this video, I'm careful not to say too many things. I'm not going to say anything complicated. I've made videos where people are leaving comments and I'm wondering, do they actually understand what I'm saying? So I'm not going to say, I don't want to say anything complicated. I want to put it this way. In a home, it is nothing wrong with, I am a man, I'm going to lead. A lot of women want a man that can lead. There's nothing wrong with that. But because you are leading, does not make, does not give you more right to oxygen. The truth is, a lot of our men, they know, they know the truth that we're all equal. 
But because they have been living in a place of privilege for so many years, they are just afraid that it is somebody's about to take away the privilege of being the man. They always panic. They think, oh my God, does it mean I have to wash the plates? Does it mean I have to bath the kids? Does it mean I have to... That's what they worry about. That is not even what... It's not even about that. This argument about equality, typically is when it comes to marriages in my country, Nigeria. The men quickly think it's about who's going to wash the plates, who's going to bath the children. It's, it's more than that. Men and women have equal rights to be happy. According to the dictionary, equality is the state of being equal, especially in status, rights, and opportunities. There are men that have issues with this. Whenever I bring it up on Facebook or whatever, it's because they have stayed in that position where they have oppressed women for so long that they are so afraid of the change that's coming. Yes, there is a change coming, whether you like it or not. Things are never going to be the same again. Things are changing. Women are beginning to realize that they too deserve to be happy. Gone are the days when the men decide to be unfaithful or drunk and disorderly when they come home and do all this terrible things in a marriage and the woman is expected to sit there more and more women are beginning to realize i too deserve to be happy there was a time when women were brought up were brainwashed to believe that they do not deserve to be happy the man's happiness is everything you you're not there to be happy you're there to bear the children you're there to cook and clean nothing else but the truth is we all have equal right to be happy Think about people some people try to use the bible to oppress women and try to tell you all these other stories they forget about what the bible says in the new testament we have to realize that Christianity we practice today is the Christianity that Jesus brought because Jesus himself is Christianity because Christianity is following the lives and teachings of Christ before Christ came there was no Christianity we are Christians today people before Christ were not Christians and look at the New Testament they look at Galatians 3 28 this is one part of the Bible you never see them in a hurry to preach because it is a liberating verse in the Bible Galatians 3 28 says there is neither Jews nor Greek there is neither bound or free which means there's no longer the boss or the slave and then the Bible it went on and say there is neither male nor female for ye are all one in Christ Jesus because after Jesus came was when Christianity started before Christ there was no Christianity so Jesus came and liberated the slaves and he liberated the women oh somebody shout amen the life and the teachings of Christ Christianity Christ right before Christ there was no Christianity they were slaves they were different things in the past but after Jesus came, came liberation. He said, for you are all sons of God through faith in Christ Jesus. For as many as you were baptized into Christ have put on Christ. So don't let anybody use the Bible to deceive you. We're all the same in the sight of God. At the end of the day, let me tell you, there will not be a heaven for the men, heaven for the women. We're all dying, we're going to the same heaven. God is not going to be saying, you're a man coming to heaven, you're a woman, stay behind. No. We are all equal in the sight of God. So main thing is about saying the man should not lead, the woman should lead, you know, blah. That's what some people get it mixed up. That's not what it's saying, you know. That's not what it's saying. What it's saying that whether you are the leader, because there's always, somebody have to lead. To be honest with you, a lot of women are happy to have their men lead. You know, the problem is sometimes some women take the lead when the men have refused to lead. That is the truth. The main point I want to bring out is this. What does equal right mean? A man has a right to vote, a woman's right, a woman has a right to vote. A man's vote does not have more weight than a woman's vote. You know, a woman has a right to a good education, a man has a right to do good education. We all have a right to jobs. You know, if you are working in, in a bank or whatever, if I'm doing, if a woman is doing the same job like you, she should be paid exactly the same amount because you're doing exactly the same job. That is what equality is about. Men always panic. Oh my goodness, um, equality, uh, what do they call it? They always say feminism. It doesn't mean I have to wash the plates, you know. That is one something else. Our African men have enjoyed so much privilege where the man does nothing. The man and the woman work and they leave the house in the morning and come back in the evening and the boat come back the man sits down watching the tv and the woman goes into the kitchen to go cook and serve him and both of you have been out all day nobody is anybody's slave a lot of our men are very quick to say yes this is 2018 a woman should go out there and make an income too you know she should go out there and make an income too she shouldn't stay at home she has to you know this is 2018 you know i can't be the only one bringing her a lot of men are very quick to say that but when he comes to say, oh, the woman says, yeah, it's okay. I can actually go out and make income too. But uh, when we come back, 
we have to do the housework as well. They're like, no, I am the man of this house. That is when they become the man of the house. They accept the other changes, and but they reject the others because it's all about what privilege, about the privileges they've enjoyed so long and they don't want to walk away from. That is the truth. Before I round up, I'm just gonna say it again. A lot of our men always think equality is about your marriage. It's not always about what's happening in your marriage. It's about what's happening in society. Boys and girls have equal right to education. They have equal right to be happy, equal right to opportunities, equal right to be fulfilled human beings in life. You know, that is what it's about, equality. It's not about who gets the biggest meat in your pot. The biggest obstacle that a lot of our men have to accepting that a woman is equal is because they've enjoyed so many privileges for all this while that they do not want to back down because it's all about it's a selfishness of understanding that yes, it's right, she deserves this too. That they're afraid of losing those privileges. My thing when it comes to what happens in your house is it's not about who is man or who is woman. It's about what works in your house. If you're a man and God forbid you lost your job and your house and your wife has a job, before she comes home there's nothing wrong with you cleaning the house or doing the cooking but when the men work the women do all the housework so what's wrong god forbid the man lost his job and he's at home now the woman is the woman is going out there and coming back you know leaving the house in the morning come back in the evening there's nothing wrong with you taking over and running the house when she's gone it's not about being a man it's about being human it's not about being i am the head it's about what works in your marriage it's about having a harmonious relationship it's about the happiness in your marriage but marriage is a partnership marriage is not all about your ego believe me there are a lot of men that have humbled themselves and they are reaping the benefit because their wives come back from work and he has cooked not because he is less than her but because he loves his wife and because he knows it's a partnership all the egos will lead no man nowhere stop being a man and be human your wife has been working so hard to bring the income in be human cook clean get the house ready and then she's gonna come home and she's gonna be happy we were brought up to say you know when the man has been working all day comes home you should realize he's tired you should realize he's been working so hard that's fine but when the table turns and the woman is now the one working so hard we should remember to apply the same logic and understand that she is working so hard and you are at home there's nothing stopping you from cooking cleaning washing the children and getting the house ready when she gets back forget about your okay. ego before you go arguing that we're not equal remember what actually equality means equal right to oxygen equal right to be happy equal right to be fulfilled equal right to opportunities equal right to vote equal right to live fulfilled lives, we are equal. Yes, men and women, we are different, but we are equal. And with that, I'm just gonna say, thank you all for watching. Until the next time, guys. Bye bye. Bye. It's goodbye, friends. And goodbye, folks.